The Monetary Policy Committee, which has been meeting since Monday, has decided to recommend, by a majority of 4 to 2, a hike in the repo rate to 6.5%, that is by 25 basis points, which means that the standing deposit facility is 625 because the gap should be 25 basis points and the marginal standing facility should be 675 because on the upper side there should be a gap of 25 basis points. Remember the standing deposit facility is a replacement for the reverse repo rate in the LAF band. Now, why did the Monte Policy Committee by a majority of 4 to 2 recommend the hike? You know, the Monte Policy Committee meets and takes stock of all the macroeconomic variables from the angle of the Monte Policy that is growth, inflation, exchange rate, and so on and so forth. And they have seen that even as inflation has come within the tolerance band, it's not still there in the comfort band. It is still about 5.7%, which is far away from the 4% which it should be set at ideally. So there is this increase so that the demand goes down and there is a price stabilization. And I need to also tell you in simple terms, repo rate is the rate at which RBI lends to the banks. The higher it is, the more the consumers and investors are charged when they borrow from the banks. So the higher the repo rate, the less the borrowing, less the demand and greater stability for prices. And you must also remember that of late, another major impetus for the rate setting exercise of the MPC is the exchange rate. Remember the rupee fell yesterday quite steeply. It's hovering close to 83. And to retain the capital, attract capital, you need to have a good rate, which is 6.5. What's going to happen when it's going to meet again in the first week of April? We don't know. There is no forward guidance because forward guidance is a feature of a crisis economy where the RBI plays a crucial role in bringing growth. Now it's not in a crisis.